Hello developers, I'm John Aguilacos and uh, I'm gonna do the tutorial as I promised on uh, using Blender's texture mapping and texture painting to make uh, a quick sketch on uh, on a model of your preference. Now uh, I discovered during this process that there is also a very useful tool called Grease Pencil but uh, from my experience after trying it I found that uh, it's not very good for uh, concept art because when you are drawing on a model it kind of messes up uh, on uh, some axis so uh, and also you know you can't actually mirror the strokes so I decided to ditch that uh, for concept art and I think it's very useful for uh, many other purposes but I, I don't think it's there right now for what the the way I wanted to work on a 3D model and make um, uh, very early sketches, very th like thumbnails, okay? So as you see, uh, I'm on Blender's website. This is uh, the first step, actually. If you haven't used Blender again, you just go to download, and you download the latest stable version of Blender. This is 277A right now. And you know it's uh, available for Windows 64-bit and 32-bit, uh, for Mac OS X, and for new Linux, and also the source code if you want to build it yourself. I have no idea how to do it. Um, so let's get started. I assume that you know how to install Blender. It's you know it's uh, pretty straightforward. Um, so and I also suggest you use the 64-bit version. Um, so let's get going. So now I'm gonna open up Blender from here and we'll see how can we're gonna make a small spaceship. Uh, I'm gonna I'm not gonna go on uh, details like modeling because I assume that a lot of people on level up are not using 3D software so what I'm gonna make is a very simple uh, demonstration using a just a primitive uh, sphere and uh, to demonstrate what we can do using 3D software for concept art thumbnails or basic, basic sketching without having to worry about perspective because uh, we are painting uh, on a 3D environment and uh, so the perspective is uh, taken care of but by the um, actual software okay uh, so when you are we have opened B Blender we must first delete the cube that's on the center with the default object just press delete on the keyboard and then enter we must also delete this lamp here which is a default light for lighting up the scene we don't need it at all just press delete. Um, sorry for my English, by the way, because I'm Greek, and so you notice uh, a strange pronunciation. But anyway, you have to bear with that. I can do anything about that, really. Um, and we're ready to go. Press Shift A, and add a mesh, which is a we'll add a UV sphere. And you'll see right here we have uh, segments, rings, and size. When we make our um, changes here, uh, the first time, uh, when we modify the the sphere again, uh, we will not be able to change these. So um, let's make some decisions from now. Let's change the size, make it big. That's big enough over there now we need quite a few rings as uh, an assistance when drawing well I prefer it anyway uh, for this model so just press control and click and then use 32 rings which will be 16 on top and 16 on the bottom of the sphere and press enter now because I don't like to visualize my sphere as a disco ball I'll use the shading uh, button and press it so that it appears smooth it won't matter in a few minutes but at this moment I you know I get freaked out by that 
will make something like Millennium Falcon from Star Wars. So, or a Space City. I have no idea what I will make. But um, now press S and Z to select the Z axis, the vertical axis, and just get it down. Like oh no escape s no all first check the view oh, okay you pan around using the middle button okay you can see the information here so I don't have to talk too much about this um, you press middle button and pan around your object then press s to scale it z for z axis and let's make it like a disc shape something like that okay it's a nice spill shape maybe scale it a bit more SZ okay quite like it here um, and now scale it along all axes okay uh, so it looks pretty good we'll make a new window now just click here at the uh, top of the window drag and we have a nice new window we'll use it in a few moments now the first thing we have to do is go here and press this little button which is the 3d view selector and now go and select UV image editor what we're gonna do we'll unwrap our 3d object like a paper craft uh, model we'll unwrap it to on this flat surface so that our texture coordinates our textures uh, the what we are gonna paint will be positioned properly on the model uh, otherwise the computer will, will not know where to put the strokes okay it's a, the simplest explanation I can uh, tell you about UV mapping okay maybe some of you know more okay now um, we go to edit mode select everything pressing A okay when it's orange it's selected when it's not it's not selected okay pretty obvious go to mesh UV unwrap and select the smart UV project which is an automated uh, unwrapping method you know um, smart projection and select the island margin up to just press it once go to 003 this is at the gap between the areas that will be textured okay and press ok now and here we have our object unwrapped okay now uh, this is by no way a correct method to UV unwrap an object or create a 3D model for a game, mind you, okay? This is just for the sake of using perspective as an aid inside the 3D software and the ability to use the camera to make thumbnail sketches or preliminary sketches for a concept art, okay? So, uh, don't take it as a 3D tutorial at all. Um, we have done our UV unwrapping here, okay, so we go to object mode again, our model is unwrapped, and we must now change our material settings, we go here, and we add a new material, we want it, our, its color to be uh, to have an intensity of 1 which is the maximum intensity we don't want any specular reflections because we are going to we want a flat material okay like a paper so we zero the intensity and we change the emission level to maximum 2 it's like a phosphorescent it's like we are painting with light here okay uh, now press this little button here which is the texture selector texture tab there is no texture that's a good thing <coughs> and then we go to texture paint mode but we are informed 
that there is missing data. What means is there is no texture to paint on. There is no paper. So we must add a paint slot. We have the diffuse color texture, which will be try to use a very large size here. It's it's a drawback, but you have more detail on your texture. I prefer let's say add a four thousand by four thousand pixels texture, sixteen megapixel image. We leave the alpha checked. It's blank press here to for the default fill color and we want an alpha of 0 okay and now press ok you you just saw the pink missing image thing go away and if you press the material slot you'll see that it's still white why is that? it's not the mission so we have an image at the diffuse color, it's the image we made okay? but we haven't added an alpha value checkbox and we haven't also checked the transparency here so check transparency and check an alpha of zero so you have a transparent object and now we can paint on that isn't that cool but we can see our object which is kind of crap so control Z and cancel that and we go here on this tab which is the object tab and press wire check the wire here which will uh, add a permanent wireframe uh, outline of our object as long as we want it of course and we can check it back again afterwards now we don't need this window here so just press at these these uh, this uh, wedge at the top of the window and drag with the left mat button to the right you will see this arrow over here then release it and you have a full viewport for painting okay now um, you can use a numerical key, um, keypad to change views rapidly so we have the right perspective view the front perspective with one with seven we have the top perspective which we want the bottom perspective etc and you can rotate the view now if you press five you switch between orthographic projection and perspective projection we want orthographic projection so we press five again and we select the top ortho view zoom in a bit I proceed now to my old Wacom I call it macaroni because it has a um, barilla tip using the old method of placing a spaghetti tip when Wacom tips are over and it works you know maybe I will do the tutorial on that but I won't take no responsibility if you damage your work no nonsense it won't happen nothing bad happens with that anyway um, now we're in texture paint mode remember we go here switch from object mode to texture paint mode because this is the selection of the modes for blender and remember to have to view the viewport on uh, material shading so that you view the actual material of the object it's a preview and using the brackets on the keyboard you can like Photoshop you can change the uh, how large your your pen will be okay so I'll use a very very small like one pixel 
radius okay now I'll start drawing and use the rings remember when I told you about the rings I'm using the rings as uh, guides here okay so I'm making nice ringy things press shift and click on one of the edges of the object to deselect it so that you won't break your nerves Let me use a mouse nah, forget it for now now I'll press no it doesn't work we have to go to object mode texture paint object and select nothing ah it's much better now and then go to texture paint mode again start painting let's make a few design decisions here Right here, a small squirrel could be living, but I won't do it now. Uh, I'll make a, an asteroid star base like thing. I don't know. Just, just use paint. The joy of painting. Whatever. Uh, but I think the guides, the the edges of the 3D objects are very useful for guides too, you know. Like a visual aid. And actual objects are made uh, when you actually cast objects these lines they seem like a you know pretty technical so when you make starships or I don't know robots or something something mechanical I do think that they're very useful for making panels or access ports or you know, shit like that and gonna add some antennas if you want to if you want to erase you got to go here at the mix and go select erase alpha this if we start if I start drawing now to start start erasing the strokes I have made just change the size a bit and just go to mix again select minimum value and make some antennas here 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 and you know and the landing platform here I'm sorry, but it's by no means my best drawing skills because I had a nerve wracking experience with Blender a few moments ago because, um, uh, you know, I had to understand better that how way I, I received some uh, warnings about the textures and so. But it's okay now, I think. I don't know, make some panels here. I'm sure we will come up with something extremely better than this. 
so you've uh, Now I'm gonna leave my walk on my way and uh, rotate the view. Wow, we now have a 3D space city like thing. And if you want to see it without the annoying wireframe, you go to the object panel here and then check wire. Check it out now. This is what I told you. This is the orthographic projection again, and we can either you can either grab a screenshot and paste it on Photoshop, or you can render it, of course, which is more professional, and it will you can set the resolution as high as you want. Press five to have a user perspective and see how nice it looks with this perspective now. Rendering doesn't happen on this view, on the user perspective view, it happens through the camera. So to see the camera view, press 0, zoom in with the middle mouse button. Oh, yes, then. And uh, press render here, render image. Okay? And then you can save the image wherever you want on your hard disk. I won't save it now. Just cancel it. Now if you want to change the perspective you can move it move the your user perspective around and press Control Alt and Zero. Nothing is displaying on the keys I know, just remember this. Control Alt Zero and uh, you will see how space city from an R viewport. Okay, you render it again. You can select the camera with the right mouse button from here and change the focal length, the sensor size and everything. You know, it's pretty fantastic. Hope I have I help you. Okay. Make something new. Bye-bye.